morning. It has been a minute. I have been a busy gal. I was on vacation two weeks ago, so I didn't pick up my camera. And then last week when I got back, I was just really overwhelmed with school and like getting back into the swing of things. I was like, okay, well, I'm not doing it this week. Uh, but here we are. It is Monday, July 18. This is my last full week of Pete's Clinicals. I do have to do like one and a half days next week just to finish out my hours. I have like 50 hours left. Um, and so I'm excited to be almost done. It feels very exciting. Um, but with that obviously comes a lot of work. So all this week I'm doing clinicals except for tomorrow, which is Tuesday, which I'm in class on Tuesday. And I have another test, I, like test every three weeks, I think it is during the summer semester, which is so exhausting. Um, but we are getting so close to being done. I'm officially, I think four weeks away from finishing. So that's super exciting. And like, it's gonna be so weird to walk out of class on that Tuesday and just be like, well, I'm, I'm done. I, <laughs> I like can't even comprehend, but anyway. I worked the last couple of, well, I worked last Thursday and Friday in the hospital, so got to transfer a few things from my hospital bag to my clinical bag. If you buy, buy a few things, I mean my stethoscope, that's it. Um, and yeah, we're going to have a good day, I'm going to study today for my test like this evening. Um, on my lunch break all throughout the day um, yeah I don't even know like what else to say <laughs> I'm excited to be here to be vlogging this week but bear with me because it's gonna be a busy week you guys know the deal you guys know the drill I'm doing the same thing all the time so we'll see if I can find any fun things to put in this vlog but let's Go to clinicals. Morning is over. I'm eating lunch now. And I'm gonna watch like a little YouTube video while I eat lunch. I should probably be studying, but let's have a chat. Just like at this point, this is really bothering me that it's like the, is that the lens? Oh yeah, that's well, you know what it is? There's something on it. <laughs> there we go. Um did it go away? Whatever. I'm at the point where I am so over school that I just don't care what grade I get. Like, and the stuff that we're learning right now is just so, like, just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, musculoskeletal, asthma, the GINA guideline, not just asthma, but, like, respiratory. I've always really disliked the respiratory system. And, like, learning about the inhalers and the GINA guidelines are such, like, I hate the GINA guidelines so much. <laughs> Because they're different for every age group like less than five five to eleven twelve plus and i'm like and you can do the preferred treatment or you can do the alternate treatment and i'm like nobody uses this why am i having to memorize this because i've never seen anybody use this in practice um but anyway i digress so i'm just really over it and then we're doing um like trauma and um what's the other thing Trauma, pediatric emergencies, abuse, which is interesting. Like, obviously it's terrible, but like, it's very important to know and like know the signs of it and it's not that difficult. So that's good, but it's just like, you know, when you don't know something, you don't like have any experience with anything. It's more, it's more difficult to learn it. So that's just what I'm dealing with right now. And I just like, don't want to study. So I'm going to spend all evening studying today. And I really just want to, I could eat my lunch from five. <laughs> I'm just complaining. I'm so over school. I'm so over spending like my entire weekend studying. It sucks. Like all I did this weekend was study. I didn't leave my house at all on Saturday. I literally did not leave my house. <laughs> I wore the same. This is gross. But like when I woke up on Saturday, when I went to sleep on Friday night, I did not change my clothes until Sunday morning. Because I just studied. <laughs> uh, anyway. It's my life right now. Hey guys. 
sorry. <laughs> Lens is dirty. Um, I just got home from clinicals and <clears throat> I'm going to heat up some dinner with just like some leftover veggie um, like noodles from a Chinese place and desperate times call for desperate measures you know I have per usual I have no groceries in my house which I feel like I say this every week but I'm, I usually grocery shop on Tuesdays um, and so on Mondays I have no groceries in my house and I also need to study tonight so I'm not I have do not have the capacity to make dinner I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs panting in the background. We just played outside for a minute and it's it's really hot. We're out there for like five minutes. But anyway, I've got to study tonight. I'm so dreading it. I've talked about this a million times already. I'll take it with me. I'm just dreading it. I don't want to do it. And I hate studying. I'm so over it. So over it. <coughs> Somebody pulled the freaking plug. Like, I gotta be done with this program. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday. Just taking my vitamins. Last night was like a late study day. Um, I was studying till, I guess not super late. It's definitely been later, but um, I think there is a like a smoke alarm when, you know, when they get, um, like when the batteries die, I think that that's going off in my house. <laughs> I need to figure that out because I just woke up and heard it, but I don't want to deal with it this morning. Um, anyway, I was studying until 9.30, pretty late for me. And so I need a extra strong coffee this morning. Um, gonna make a coffee I swear to god you guys I was I have been off of um clinicals for two weeks because I went on vacation and then my preceptor went on vacation and so my last day back was yesterday I woke up this morning with a sore throat though I really like peds I I don't know if I can work in peds I'm always sick around them and I wear my mask all day I'm like what going on I I can't keep getting sick and I thought maybe just like waking up that it was it was a little dehydrated or something you know like when you sleep with your mouth open and it still could be that um but I have like a little post nasal drip too it's like you're literally choking me you're choking me I don't know whatever we're gonna push through per usual went to Trader Joe's Gonna unpack all of this, I'll do a little haul. All right, so we got some tofu, one thing of Impossible Burger, fried rice, cilantro. Um, my husband really likes these oat bars. I've actually never tried them before, but I don't know, I'm not really like into popsicles, so whatever. Um, lemons, avocados, two things of broccoli, spinach, lettuce, oat milk. This dill dressing is really good, highly recommend. Rice toaster waffles for my husband <laughs> um these abc bars are really good too bread i'm gonna make wow it is really thundering outside <laughs> um i'm going to make kind of like a vegan version of fettuccine alfredo with broccoli um indian flatbread and then i use when i make this flatbread i put um like olive oil and garlic on it and some salt and put it in the oven and it, it's really good and then I really like these homemade tortillas from Trader Joe's cauliflower dog treats this masala simmer sauce is good it's what I make um, curry out of a bunch of garbanzo beans black beans um, roasted tomatoes and coconut milk when I make the curry I literally just put this um, the roast I mean, sorry, these tomatoes and coconut milk in a pan and simmer it, super good. Oh, and the thing of garbanzo beans. And then some sweet chili for a sauce. I opened this salsa up already. And some corn chips that I'm snacking on. I'm gonna put all this stuff away while I'm watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. I'm on episode four and I really like it. It's great vibes, great summer vibes. Um, it's cute, I like it. I am Team Jeremiah. 
because he's very, he's like sweet and closer to Belly's, excuse me, closer to Belly's age and I don't know, I just like him better. Oh, the lighting. Um, I think that, what's his name, is it Connor? Or Conrad, I think it's Conrad. Um, I just think he's like a punk. He like wants to be cool, I'm not into it. But anyway, we're about to have a summer thunderstorm. This guy's like super dark over there. I don't know if you can tell. So some cozy vibes this afternoon. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning and I just got to clinicals like five minutes early. I usually don't go until eight o'clock. Um, I'm sitting in my car. Um, I had my test yesterday. I told you guys I had a test and um, I don't know how it went because like two people couldn't take it so she like didn't release our grades she put our grade in the grade book and like my grade is fine but not the actual test grade just like the overall it changed the overall weighted grade so I don't know how I did whatever it doesn't really matter um so I'm just glad that's done because I only have one more test left which is my final and that's um on August 9th and then I'm done like I'm gonna walk out of class that day out, not even out of class out of that test and be like done with NP school it's gonna be so anticlimactic I've just been thinking about that day for <laughs> the past couple of days just taking that test and being like I'm done I, I don't know it's 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 like a weird thought to have but anyway um, I'm in clinicals for the rest of the week and I have I have already started studying for the HESI which is like I think some people have to take the HESI in nursing school. I don't remember if I had to take it in nursing school, um, but it's basically, you know what I did? I had to take a predictor test in nursing school. So I'm guessing it was a HESI, um, but it's a predictor test to see if you'll pass the um, certification exam. And honestly, like I haven't had a ton of time to study. I've heard it's like really, really difficult. And I've heard that most people who don't pass the HESI pass um, certification. And it was just such a difference because I'm going to study for my certification exam and I've been in school right now. So I don't have time to like specifically spend on reviewing information. So I think it's kind of dumb. It's just something that the school does just, you know, because they don't want to look bad if people are failing um, certifications. But anyway, I have to take that next third. I got cut off so rude. My memory card was full, but... Anyway, we're gonna have a good day, feeling good, feeling like ready to be done with this. And I'm gonna send my resume today to kind of like um, somebody that I know in um, like a family medicine clinic. So that's good. And I'll talk to you guys maybe like a little bit later about how I'm feeling about the job search and like what I'm applying to and like what positions, what specialties I'm applying to and stuff. Um, Cause I don't have time to do it right now, but I will definitely, I'm gonna let you guys know, like I just wanna like talk about it. So we'll do that, but I need to go to clinicals right now. For lunch today, we are having leftovers from yesterday, which is just this chickpea. I've shared this recipe with you guys before. Chickpeas, um, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Um, chickpeas, tomatoes, onions, lettuce in a wrap with this vegan um, creamy dill dressing. Very good, very quick and simple lunch. I really like it. Hello you guys, I'm driving to the gym right now. I'm freaking out because I just got an interview for a cardiology nurse practitioner program. It, I don't even know like what to say. I don't have I, I don't I haven't scheduled it yet. I just got the email and I'm freaking out because I really didn't think when I applied to this position that I really don't think ever when I'm applying to positions like, oh yeah, this is gonna be it because I feel like people are gonna look at my resume and be like, oh she doesn't finish for a couple of weeks and then she has to get certified and like we're looking for somebody sooner than that. So I always feel like they're gonna be like, what is this girl doing? But um 
they want to schedule a little phone interview, which I realize is, you know, like the first of many steps if it does work out. And I don't even know if it will work out. And I know I'm jumping the gun, but it's just really exciting because this is the first um, person I've had respond to my resume that I've applied for. I've been applied for many jobs. Um, I've applied for maybe three and I've never heard back um, except for this one. And then also another little job update is I have a friend, I think I might have said this earlier. It's really like a friend. Okay, apologies. My memory card died. I mean, my memory card got full again. But as I was saying, I have like a friend of a friend who works for a larger corporation here in Florida um, that has offered to get me a family medicine position. And um, I'm really excited about that too. Obviously, I don't know what's going to happen. When I think about like what I'm doing, I never, I've always thought about what I wanted to do, obviously, after, like as a nurse practitioner. But when I really imagined it, I never, I never really saw past finishing school. Like, and even in my mind, like, I can't see my, in three months, like, I don't know where I'm gonna be. Like I can't picture myself to be like, oh yeah, this is where I'm gonna be for sure. Like this is for sure what I wanna be doing. Um, but family medicine feels very comfortable for me. Obviously that's what I want. went to school for. That's what I know how to do. And I'm totally fine with going into family medicine. I, I won't be there forever, I know that. I know that I could be there for several years. Or maybe I'll like get into it and be obsessed with it. Um, but just in my clinical ro clinical rotations, I've always preferred more of like the specialty care. Um, but I'm totally fine with starting in family medicine because this is a really great company and I could definitely like float around to different places. So like after getting some footing. So I don't know, kind of exciting, exciting things happening. And I of course will keep you guys updated and I'm really excited. And the thing that I hate about like working full time, or I'm not even working, I'm working for free. It is 7.47 and we're just now sitting down to eat dinner. I still have to take the dogs for a walk. I still like the kitchen needs to be clean. Like the kitchen is a mess because I just cooked and I went to the gym this evening. So there's all of like these things that add up. And if you want to take care of yourself, you have to do so much. And then by the time we like finish dinner and take the dogs for a walk, it'll be like 9.15. So I'm going to like shower and go to bed. There's no time to decompress. And that's what I hate about corporate America. Lunch today is just some leftovers of the, the rice bowl, or I think it's called a Mexi bowl. Technically I put a ton in here. I'm not going to eat all of this, but it would be okay if I did. Um, but yeah and then so I just bring it like this and then the little dressing I've shared this recipe with you guys before but it's so good I usually eat it with chips but I forgot my chips today so we're just gonna eat it plain and some more exciting job news so I scheduled my um, it's a phone interview for the cardiology MP job and I looked up like reviews for the practice and they're all like incredible reviews like people are obsessed so that's always a great sign and then I also got another interview for a bariatric um, office position which it wasn't something that I originally saw myself doing but when I saw the job posting I was like wait I love taking care of bariatric patients you guys know on my TikToks I talk all the time like um, I got bariatrics and those are my favorite, so it's okay. Like, 
I really like taking care of those patients are very motivated usually to like do all their stuff and I like to see their progress so I got a phone interview for that I have a lot of experience in it so I'm actually really excited about the thought of that position too so yeah I'm excited I just like so many fun things and that's not till next week so that'll be in next week's vlog but I will obviously tell you guys about my interview tomorrow night I'm terrified I'm so nervous but I hope everybody's okay but yeah I'm hoping it'll go well halfway through the day I can't wait for it to be like the weekend I'm tired but that's cool we're all good I've been doing a lot of HESI prep on my lunch breaks um, <clears throat> and I'm using the leak book comes with like um, uh, this is not accurate I'm not taking my test on the 23rd I don't I don't know when I'm taking my test I don't have the dates yet um, but the leak test has like a link to this online thing that you can do and I really like the practice question so like it'll tell you like this is farm health promotion and like how good you are at it honestly cardiovascular is my strong point um I'm not but I'm not advanced yet obviously I could definitely still use some work on all of these and um yeah so I'm on endocrine right now and I'm just gonna do this during my lunch break we just got home you guys the boys are playing in the yard outside I have my interview at 6:15. It's 6.01, so I'm going to go into the office and just, like, calm myself down for a second. I don't think it's going to be, like, a serious interview. I think it's going to be, like, a tell me about yourself type of thing because it's just a phone interview right off the bat. I need to put all this stuff down. Sorry. Um, so I think it's just going to be, like, tell me about yourself. Tell me why you think you're qualified for this position, that type of stuff. And, yeah, we'll go from there. But. I don't think I've talked to you guys since yesterday. It's Friday, Friday evening. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm nervous. Okay. at my ice roller I have my coffee and water I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos but I just wanted to give you guys like a little update on um where should I sit you guys let's see like right here I wanted to give you guys a little update on the interview that I had last night it went really well um I don't think it's the position that I'm looking for um but there are a lot of pros of the position i just it wasn't what i was expecting um it's more it's not like an outpatient cardiology job which i was expecting it to be that um it is a nursing home cardiology job so basically um he was saying like three days a week i could work like three days a week and I just go and round on two nursing or on one nursing home and one assisted living facility and like adjust medications, see those patients. And he was like, like your charting system will be on your computer. So you, um, there's no like home base for you to go, but like you can work from home, which is kind of nice. And he was like, you can make really good money because it's not a job that a lot of people want to do. Um, but he's like, it's not bad. He's like, I usually start rounding at like 10 a.m. and I'm done by 3. He was like, there's a lot of flexibility, especially if you have kids and all of this stuff. And it wasn't wasn't really what I was looking for. I would really like to be in an office setting with people that I can like bounce ideas off of. I would like to meet like nurse practitioners and PAs, like people my age or, you know, more. I like, I don't know, I like to work with people. I don't particularly love working alone. Um, but then I was thinking like maybe I could do if it's only three days a week I could totally do that 
part-time and maybe try to get into like aesthetics or like also have time to focus on YouTube and um, like my TikTok and stuff, but I don't know. Um, he's interviewing other people, so I honestly don't even know if I would get the position and I'm kind of skeptical about it if I'm being completely honest. So I'm just kind of the what I have in my head right now is like if it's meant for me then obviously it'll be and if it's not then it's not meant for me to have it is like an independent contractor too which I don't love the idea of working for myself as a new grad so it's different but I don't think I told you guys I have another interview on Tuesday for a bariatric surgery NP position, which I'm actually super excited about. And it's not even something that really crossed my radar until I saw the position. I was like, wait, I have so much experience with bariatrics and hey, boys, sorry. And I really love it. Like I love, I say in my TikToks all the time, like I love taking care of bariatric patients and I love to see their progress and the motivation. So I'm like, I'm like really excited about that position so we'll see how that goes it's just like a little phone interview with hr to see if i'm like a right match and all that type of stuff so we'll see keep me in your thoughts as like i'm continuing to go about like finding a job it's like i just don't i wish i had a clearer picture of the future <laughs> and then i would feel i just feel like i'm in a constant state of applying for jobs and like looking on indeed and seeing what's up and like looking i also look on um like websites of places that i would like to work and yeah i don't know i'm i'm a little confused right now but it's okay and yeah whatever is going whatever is right for me is going to find me i know that i know that i am i will end up in a position that is right for me i always have like i just trust that that will happen and yeah we'll go from there so thank you guys so much for all like your encouragement and everything and somebody said like such a nice comment that they were like you started out in cardiology and found out that you wanted to go back to school or like it really solidified that you wanted to go back to school in cardiology so cardiology really feels like full circle moment and it totally does I don't know who that is and it totally does so i don't know I'll keep looking for positions and <laughs> hey bubba and if that's the right one then they will want to do another interview so we'll see i'm excited though for the future and anyway i'm going to end this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching i know it's probably a little chaotic this week um but we're going to get back to weekly vlogging and yeah i appreciate you guys so much and i will see you next week